Something new is needed. My business is too hard. My business is arousing human sympathy. There are a few things that stir men's souls, just a few. Trouble being that the reputed use loses its effect. Because man has the abominable thing of being able to deaden his feelings at will, so to speak. Suppose, for instance, a man sees another man standing on the street corner with a stump for an arm. The first time, you may be shocked enough to give him ten pence. But the second time, it will only be five pence. And if he sees him a third time, he'll hand him over some things like batting an eyelash. It's a lot like the spiritual approach. What good are the most beautiful, the most poignant sayings painted on the most enticing little signs when they get expended so quickly? The Bible has four sayings that stir the heart. Once a man has expended them, there's nothing for it but starvation. Take this one, for instance. Give and it shall be given unto you. How threadbare is it? After hanging here a mere three weeks, yes, you have to keep on providing something new. So it's back to the good old Bible again. But how long can it go on providing? Money for the poor?
chance you bloke like me got to think up things like that? And how could business progress without what's education? your name? Education. Well, it's like this, Mr. Peacham. I've been down a lot like that since I was a boy. My mother drank, and my father gambled, and I sank deeper and deeper into the quicksand of the big city. Never known a blessing of an happy home, and so now you see me. So now I'll see her. Now tell me, derelict, which district have you been reciting that fairy tale? Ah! What do you mean, Mr. Peacham? Well, you deliver that speech in public, I take it. Well, it's not this, Mr. Peacham. There I was yesterday, holding out my hat on Island Street, no suspicion of anything nasty. Yeah, yeah, Island Street. You're the bastard that Honey and Sand called yesterday. You had the impudence to be molested past the time, and we let you go with a fraction because we had reason to believe that you didn't know it. Oh, Mr. Peachum, what can I do, Mr. Peachum? The gentlemen, they beat me black and blue and they gave me your business card. Well, if I took off my coat, you'd think you'd be looking at a fish on a snare. My friend, if you ain't flat as a kipper, then my men ain't doing their job properly. Yeah. Why, along come these young whippersnappers who think all they got to do is hold out their porter land estate. What would you say if someone stole a fish and all the best trout out of your pond? Well, it's not this, Mr. Peach, and I haven't got a pond. <laughs> Licenses are delivered to professionals only. London is split into 14 districts, and any man who wishes to practice the art of begging needs a license from Jonathan, Jeremiah, Peachum and Co. Why anyone <laughs> could come along? I'll pray to his baser instincts. Please, Mr. Peachum, something must be done, Mr. Peachum. We've only two shillings in my pocket. Why, ma'am? Mr. Peachum, do not turn a deaf ear onto misery. <laughs> Give and it shall be given unto you. Ten bob. Plus 50% of your take, without it, 70%. What's the outfit consist of? Well, that's for the firm to decide. What district can I start in? Baker Street, numbers 2 to 104. That comes even cheaper, only 50% of outfits. <coughs> oh, very well then. <laughs> Your name? Charles Filt. <laughs> right, <laughs> Mrs. Peacham! This is Filch. Baker Street district, I'll do this entry myself. Trust you to pick this time to apply, right before the coronation, when for once in a lifetime there's a little chance of making something. Outfit C. What's that? These are the five basic types of human misery. Those most likely to put man into the unnatural state where he is willing to part with money. Outfit A. Victim of vehicular progress. The merry paraplegic. Always, always cheerful, always carefree, accented by an armed son. Half this big, victim of a higher strategy, the tiresome trembler, the less passes by and operates by inspiring novel authors. Attenuated by medals. Half this big, the victim of a dark. The pitiful blind man, the poor dog's look of devil. Why, sorry for it. He's not fit to be a beggar, he's only fit to be begged from. Very well. Outfit D. 